loud bang. Johnny Kelly lives on Canal Road and heard the crash late Saturday night. He immediately rushed across the street from his home to the scene. I ran down the steps and across the road and there was a gentleman standing there uh, basically in shock, motor still running wide open on his car. A car driven by 57-year-old George Willis collided with another car near East 5th Street and Canal Road at 1145 Saturday night. After making sure the driver in the other vehicle was in good shape, Kelly rushed down this embankment where he found George Willis in his car, the car partially in the canal. The car was upside down, partially on top of him, and, and uh, I checked his pulse and uh, he was already gone. This is where the car came to a stop upside down last night on these rocks and this morning. The only thing that remains are a few items that came from the car, including a New Year's hat. A windshield visor, floor mats and hat were the only evidence of a wreck Sunday afternoon. People who live nearby tell me they knew George Willis and he lived within a few blocks of where the accident happened. Gulf Shores police aren't sure how the cars struck one another or which direction Willis was headed. Uh, we just, uh, we just, our prayers go out to the family. In Gulf Shores, Blake Brown, News 5.